Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. As we begin today, let your eyes be open. Focus on the middle of the room that you are in. And then, notice how you can let your attention go. Let the attention go to the far wall away from where you're sitting. If you're lying flat, you can let your attention go to the ceiling. And then, notice how you can let your attention come back right back to the center of the room. And then, even further, your attention can come to about book reading distance from you, as if you're reading a book in your hands. And you may notice that you can determine where your attention goes and that you are in charge of it. And now, if you like, you can let your eyes be closed and let your attention go inward. And we'll be focusing now on the sensations of the breath. You can let your attention go to wherever the breath comes most naturally to you. For some people, it's the sensations of the air, the level of the nose, with that gentle feeling coming in and out as the air passes in and out of your nose. For others, they naturally feel the breath at the level of the chest, with the rising and falling of the chest with each breath in and out. And still, Others feel the breath most naturally at the level of the abdomen. And that when the diaphragm underneath the lungs is pulling down and bringing air into the lungs as you're breathing in, the abdomen actually moves upward, moves out. And then when the air is released from the lungs as you breathe out, the abdomen actually moves inward, sensing the abdominal movements in and out. So let's take a few moments now and just let your awareness ride the wave of the breath wherever you feel it most naturally. Your nose, your chest, your abdominal movement, or for some people, it's even just the whole body breathing. Whatever comes naturally for you, Let's just let your attention ride the wave of your breathing. As you're sensing your breath in and out, I'm going to share with you an ancient story that's been passed through the generations about the mind 
being like the ocean. We're deep in the ocean beneath the surface. It's calm and clear. And from that deep place in the ocean, you can look upward toward the surface and at the surface. No matter what the conditions are, whether it's flat or choppy or even a full storm, no matter what those conditions are deep in the ocean, it's calm and clear. As the ancient story goes, Swami Ananda and his disciple Ranga were strolling on the beach by the ocean. It was a cold day and the wind was blowing strongly over the ocean, raising very high waves. After walking for some time, Swami Ananda stopped, looked at Ranga and asked, What does the choppy ocean remind you of? It reminds me of my mind and my rushing and restless thoughts, answered Ranga. Yes, the stormy ocean is like the mind and the waves are the thoughts, Swami Ananda explained. The mind is neutral like the water. It is neither good nor bad. The wind is creating the waves as desires and fears produce thoughts. I wouldn't want to be on a boat in the middle of the ocean in a storm like this, said Ranga. You are there all the time within this storm, responded Swami Ananda and continued. Most people are on a rudderless boat in the middle of a choppy ocean, even if they do not realize it. The mind of most people is very restless. Thoughts of all kinds come and go incessantly, agitating the mind like the ocean's waves. Yes, Ranga interrupted him. You don't need to tell me this, I know that. This is the reason I want to learn from you. I want to calm down the waves of my mind. Swami Ananda looked at Ranga for a while, smiled and said, You don't calm the ocean by holding the water and not letting it move. What is necessary is to stop the wind. Your thoughts, desires, and fears are like the wind, and you need to calm them down and not let them rule your life. You learn to control them by controlling your attention and focus, and then the ocean of your mind would become calm. And how do I do that, replied Ranga. Suppose it is possible for the ocean to disregard the wind. What would happen then, asked Swami Ananda. The waves would cease. However, no one can stop the wind. Swami Ananda looked at Ranga with a mysterious smile and said, You can calm down the winds in your mind 
which make the ocean of your mind restless. The winds are your thoughts and the ocean is your mind. Yes, Master, said Ranga. This is what I am trying to do. If I can succeed to calm the windows of my mind, would I also be able to bring more peace and calmness into the world around me? First, learn to calm down the wind and the ocean in your mind, Swami Ananda explained. When you can control your mind and make it peaceful, you will have more control of your life. However, don't focus on changing the outside world. Focus on changing and calming your inner world. After you are able to control your inner world, you would be able to control the world around you. And how do I do that? Ranga asked. Learn to focus your mind. Develop willpower and self-discipline. And learn to meditate, Swami Ananda answered. Now, coming back to you, and just sensing the breath. Sensing the breath and how it allows you to go to the depth of the ocean of your mind. Where from this deep, tranquil place, you can look upward at the waves, at the surface. The brain waves that are the activities of your mind that from this deep place in your mind you can just notice the thinking or feeling or perceiving all those feelings that are just there at the surface notice them as being activities that come and go in and out of awareness like ripples on a pond And just sensing your breath brings you back to this tranquil place in the depth of your mind. Let's take a few moments now and just sense your breath. And when an activity of the mind brings your attention to it, like a thought, a feeling, a memory, a sensation, then just lovingly and gently you can take note of that mental activity and redirect your attention to your breath. Let your attention return to the breath, to this depth of your mind where you can just sense and observe the activities of the mind is just that, activities, and not the totality of who you are. Activities and thoughts will come and go. It is the way the mind works. As you sense your breath, You may come to notice that your mind is no longer focusing on the breath. Lovingly and gently take note of that and return your attention to your breathing. Now, we'll begin to bring this meditation to a close. Allow yourself to enjoy the deep tranquility 
that comes from just sensing the breath. Knowing that focusing your mind on your breathing brings you to this deep place of calm and clarity in any moment that you desire. And now, as you're ready, gradually allow your body to awaken. Open your eyes and step forward into your day and your life.